take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Queen Hatshepsut, a prolific builder who was a regent for her stepson, Thutmose III, was almost obliterated from history after he ascended the throne in the 15th century BC Thutmose, and then his son Amenhotep II, systematically removed her image from monuments, reliefs, statues, cartouches and the official list of Make your mark, take our lead. Inside this tomb, Carter found mummified geese and other meat offerings and the bodies of two elderly women, one in a coffin labeled with the name and title of Great Royal Nurse, named Cider Inn, and the other lying unconfined on the floor. Make your mark, take our lead. Ancient Egyptian politics severely restricted the lives of royal women. Pharaohs restricted the marriages of their daughters. Royal princesses were not allowed to marry below their rank, and they were only allowed to marry princes and kings. He later married two other daughters, Nebatawi and Henadawi. Let's help you make your mark. Why is Hatshepsut so famous? Hatshepsut was a female king of Egypt, reigned in her own right circa 1473 to 58 BCE, who attained unprecedented power for a woman, adopting the full titles and regalia of a pharaoh. Take our lead. Sobnefru. Despite evidence that some women held kingly powers during the 3rd millennium BC, the first universally accepted female pharaoh is Sobnefru. Daughter of Amenemhat III, who she succeeded in c. 1789 BC to rule for approximately four years, Sobnefru appeared on official king lists for centuries after her death. Make your mark, take our lead. Hatshepsut. The statues were those of Hatshepsut, the sixth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty, one of the few, and by far the most successful, women to rule Egypt as pharaoh. Evidence of her remarkable reign, circa 1479 to 1458 b.c., did not begin to emerge until the 19th century. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.